Uh, today we're going to talk about the grip and the importance of the grip. So many students come to me and they have too much curvature on the golf ball. Uh, they either curve it way to the left or way to the right. And it's no coincidence that in most golf books that the grip is the first chapter that's covered. The reasons that it's covered, again, is that uh, it's the primary control of the club face and your grip also con mostly controls the curve of the golf ball. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to three grips today, two which I support and one that uh, isn't taught anymore. The first one is the Varden grip or the overlap grip. This would be where your lead hand is placed on the golf club properly and your bottom hand would be placed on the club and your last finger of your bottom hand would go in the channel between your index finger and your middle finger. The second grip would be the interlock grip, hands placed properly on the golf club. And what would happen with your bottom hand, the end finger of your bottom hand would be placed interlocking between your trigger finger or your index finger of your lead hand and your pinky finger of your bottom hand. The last grip is the baseball grip and that would basically be 10 fingers on the golf club. I would prefer that my students would use either interlock or overlap and not the baseball grip. Some things that happen when students come to us, uh, many times they have the grip way too far in the fingers. Uh, that's usually somebody that slices the golf ball or hits the ball way to the right in this case. Many times the, uh, they're professional or someone will teach them to put the grip more in their fingers. What that does is that causes a little bit more of a whippier release has the club face close a little bit sooner and causes the ball to curve a little bit more from right to left. The only problem with that is is having the proper grip pressure on that. Uh, what happens with the club is in that case is is it wiggles a lot or it moves a lot. So if I have the grip in my fingers and I start to milk the club or ease and tighten my grip pressure it moves way too much. You can see how much movement there is in there. The grip that we teach, or we teach at our academy, is having the grip a little bit deeper in your palm, using the pad of your hand to uh, set the club. You set the grip in there. Have the club exit out at a diagonal of your first knuckle, and then pinch your forefinger and your thumb together, and that creates a V. That V, when it's set down, should be between your right ear and your right shoulder. With your bottom hand, your bottom hand should be placed using this line of your, of your bottom hand. And that should cover your thumb, pinch together again. You can see that the V's in my hands are facing at the same point. They're parallel to each other. Some problems that we see with the grip are that people have their palms opposing. Uh, one hand will be too weak. The other hand will be over the top. Uh, or their hand will be too weak on the top and the right hand will be too far underneath. Just what we want to do is we want to make sure that our grip is properly placed. Take your time. One hand first, bottom hand second. That's why the tour players take so much time working on their grip. You never see a tour player come up to a golf shot have with both hands on the golf club and then make little adjustments from there. They take their time. They place their left hand on, then their right hand, then they set the club, and they're ready to go. Remember again that your grip has primary control of the club face, mostly controls the curve of the golf ball. Thanks for watching. Hope this tip helps.